What's going on YouTube? Sam back from Vital Athletics and today is going to be the first episode of a series I've been uh, thinking about starting for a while now. It's going to be called Supplement Sunday. So a lot of the questions that I get um, from people are what kind of supplements I take, what do I think about the supplements that I take, why do I take them, um, when do I do it. So I decided okay what better way than to <clears throat> basically make video series about this. We're going to be posting once a week, get them, getting them up on Sundays uh, just because those days well one the name sounds better than you know a supplement Monday or something like that and plus Sundays are kind of like my chill days get back get some work done so that's what we're gonna be doing uh, I know sometimes these supplement review videos reach kind of like a larger audience so if you're new to the channel my name's Sam uh, I'm a college student and I'm a team bodybuilder so the supplement that we're gonna go over today is something I've been using for a while now it's Optum Nutrition, Gold Standard Way. I figured what better way than to start out with protein since it's the staple of, uh, of any bodybuilder's diet. So when I said I've been using this for a while now, I've basically been using it for about two years, maybe a little bit over two years. I know a lot of you know that I am a Campus Protein representative. I've been working with the company for um, about a little over a month now. I really like it. I just wanted to let you guys know that the supplements I'm going to be doing on here, although a majority of them uh, will be available on the Campus Pro 2 website, they are not limited to the Campus Pro 2 website. So um, yes, you might be able to buy these supplements through Campus Protein. Some of the supplements that I'm going to be reviewing throughout this series will not be available, but uh, I will always post in the description where you can get them at the best price because I'll do that for you guys. So let's get into it. We're gonna go a little bit of background about uh, Optum Nutrition. It was introduced in the 1980s by the Costello family. Optum Nutrition is a very trustworthy brand. I've been using them, like I said previously, for a little bit over two years now. So um, I do have a lot of trust in them and what they put in their products, and I think it's an overall good product. So basically what this contains is whey protein isolates. It's the purest form of whey protein out there. And this protein powder specifically Includes includes over five grams of BCAs, which include um, glutamine and glutamic acids. Glut glutamic acid. I think I'm pronouncing that right. But anyways, um, we'll go more into those, the amino acids, in another video. But basically, this is the two pounder, the 29 servings. Who I would recommend this product to? Basically, anyone who's trying to put on muscle mass or even cut. Um, especially that I'm a college student it's kind of hard to get my protein in so it's really great to just have something here at my dorm that if I need to meet my protein goals for the day I can you know put one or two scoops into a shake and get that uh, you know anywhere from 25 to 50 grams of protein in real quick so I do recommend that to anyone as far as like the timing and when to take it I know um, <clears throat> many of you heard about the anabolic time window like oh the best take your protein 30 minutes after your workout and I know that some studies are coming out that kind of deny that claim that oh you don't really have an anabolic window to be honest you can believe what you want to believe I have my own personal views about it that I don't want to get into it right now but um just as I I think as long as you're hitting your protein goals for the day it doesn't necessarily matter when you take it as long as you know your hat you work out and you don't need anything for the rest of the day don't do that <laughs> that's not a smart move so I'm gonna go over um what recipes I kind of use with it. I don't know if I'd call it recipes, but basically uh, the most standard way you can use this obviously is with water and um, tastes pretty good. I would give it like a 4.5 out of 5, I would say, as far as taste goes. Personally, I don't really like proteins to taste super sweet. I've had um, some products in the past that I would taste it and it would just be like kind of like overwhelmingly sweet. I know some people love that. Me, not too much a fan. So it's it's sweet, but it's not overwhelmingly sweet. So you can t still taste. Uh, this one's the double rich chocolate. You can still kind of have that chocolatey taste to it. Other flavors that I've tried is the peanut butter one. I had, did not like that one as much, but it was still a pretty good flavor. And then I don't mess in the in the vanilla spectrum of proteins. I've always been a chocolate guy. So. So what I use with that. You could also mix it in with almond milk and PB2 powder. Um, if you don't know what PB2 powder is, <sighs> looks like this powdered peanut butter. Probably do another video on this. 
But yeah, that tastes really good. And another thing that I do is I have yogurt, and I would mix it in with my yogurt, among other things. Also, I put it in smoothies, if you saw some of my previous videos, um, with the blueberries and the almond milk and all that great stuff. So what you can do is you can kind of make like a brownie in a mug. So basically you just take one whole egg or two whole eggs and um, put those in a mug, crack them of course, put the protein in there, whisk it up with a fork and then put it in the microwave for like maybe 45 seconds to a minute and it puffs up. So that's pretty good. I can't really do that here at college because I don't have eggs available to me on a daily basis. Not yet. Maybe next year. And also uh, oatmeal. So I have packets of oatmeal that I throw in the microwave, throw the protein powder in there, make protein oats. Those were always a staple. Um, I've been doing that for almost a year now, probably a little over a year now. So in conclusion, I think I covered everything. It's my first time making one of these supplement review videos. So the only way to go is up from here. So as always, guys, please subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumb. Comment down below if you want me to go over anything in more specific detail for these next videos or if you just had a question about the product itself. This you can find on campusprotein.com. I'll throw the link in the description. If you want um, a little discount code, use code Vital Athletics, capital V, capital A. And um, they're available in the two pounder for $29.99, the five pounder for $57.99 and the 10 pounder for $115.99. In conclusion, great product. Like I said, like I said, recommended to anyone who's trying to put on some muscle mass and get in the gym. It's a great way to uh, make up for any protein you can't get through food, especially the convenience of it. Overall, I would rate it probably a 4.5 out of five. I really like this product. I really trust the company. And before we end it, I'm just gonna go through the nutrition facts real quick because I want these videos to be of convenience to people. Um, I want to do all the research for you so you don't have to do this. So just in case anyone was wondering, um, serving size one round of scoop comes out to a little over 30 grams, um, 120 calories, 10 calories from fat, one gram of fat, three grams of carbs, 24 grams of protein, sodium, 130 milligrams. It actually has the uh, calories per gram of uh, macronutrients, so nine calories for one gram of fat, four cal. I don't know, you don't really need to know that. That's just funny that they put that there. <clears throat> Alright guys, that was the video. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, stay tuned for next week's Supplement Sunday. Take care. Stay motivated. So now I'm just going to go over what I use and how I use it. What the f That doesn't make sense. Oh. oh. <laughs>